welcome to the latest instalment of Bellarine Life. Lee Martin joining Andrew Kibbers down here on a beautiful morning in Indented Head. Now, we're here today, Andrew, to catch up with a nice group with a very naughty name. We are, Lee, the notorious salty bitches. They are a lovely bunch of ladies, and we're going to learn a lot more about them this morning. Let's go and take a look. Well, we certainly picked the morning for it. We've got Lynn and Sarah here from the Salty Bitches. Now, girls, I'd love to start and find out more about where the name originated. This is Lucy. Yeah. She's the original Salty Bitch. So Lucy is a rescue dog, and we found that she loved water. She's yep. got some kind of hunting yes, dog, do. wiry head pointer, and she used to swim out and try and rescue us. In fact, she swam out today. I don't know if you guys nice saw her. Yeah, I did yeah, see her, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she was trying to rescue George. Very good. Um, she has very long nails. But yeah, she's the original Salty Bitch. And you don't want to be the ladies of St. Leonard. No. <laughs> we yeah. salty bitches. Exactly. We own that word. And Sarah, how did it all come about? COVID lockdown. Right. And desperation. Yes. Um, for my own mental and physical health. I had the beach 300 metres away. Right. So I only took lockdown to start using a natural yeah. environment. Yeah. Yes. And it's been nearly three years. And Fantastic. most of the growth has been the last year and a half. And it's all about physical, mental health, yeah. community. Yes. Yeah. Starting the day laughing at sunrise. Yes. Naked. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> um, we have yep. the swimmers, the flappers, the dippers, the chatters. Right. So a lot of swimming groups, people feel a bit intimidated yep. by it because they think you have to be amazing swimmers. Yes. Swimmer. When no. we started, I couldn't get half the people uh, 50 metres off the beach. Yep. Yeah. And when I said to them, let's swim the rip, they went, what? Yeah. yeah. Swimming to that pole is, is the biggest challenge. The biggest right, challenge. yeah. And yes. once they do that, then they think they can do anything in the rest of their lives. Yep, yeah. take it on that, That's get out of their comfort zone. you can rather than you can't. Yes. Josh is our oldest bloke at 83 now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Yes. And Karen's 78. Yes. Um, they're both walking taller. Yes. Being bent over. over. Yes. Yep. Um, you know, we've got international. Yeah, from Irish Dublin. Lynn. <laughs> when I moved down here, like most of us, we're sort of like going, okay, our kids have grown up or, you know, we're, we've moved into a new area and it's like, a, so, so where's my tribe? Where's yes, my who do I meet? And my tribe was <laughs> in the water, yep. you know, having an absolute blast. 1,500 members in the Facebook group, so obviously an enormous Does following. In your <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm hoping you can help me out with that yeah. today. The boys are called Num Nuts. Num Nuts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to touch on that. So salty bitches, Num Nuts. Is there any other names you get thrown around for any, any other participants? Or? Oh, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Which is valid. Crazy. Yeah. But when people walk past, like this lovely lady, we always say, "Come swimming with us." <laughs> yeah. And then That's people turn nice. up. And even like uh, outside of the swimming, we've got women that are, you know, they're hiring buses, they're going places, yes. they're doing different things. Yep. It's not just what you do first thing in the morning, it's also what you, you know, what yeah, you get up else. to. Yes. Yeah, Dinners, during the day. drinks, coffees, nice. yes. Yes. lots of support. Yep. You know, people have maybe lost partners or yep. people aren't yeah. well or maybe have been struggling mentally with yep. being isolated. It's all about that. And we're now all members of the Indenta Head Yacht Club. Yep. So we used to just be on the beach and all <laughs> yeah. with us. Right. Uh, now we have a place to have tea, coffee, showers, Fantastic. all, all yeah. of that. Yeah. And we know that, um, you know, the scientific studies are there. It's not just footballers that yes. use cold water yeah. therapy. They know that it stimulates the vagus nerve, which is a parasympathetic nervous system. They know that it helps with physical and mental health. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you look like. We're basically all naked. It doesn't, I know that oh, when we, we first started, been. yeah, we have been. We do do naked uh, winter we, solstice we do, yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Whenever there's, Irish, yeah. whenever there's a full moon, yeah. Um, but it doesn't matter what size you are, what you look yes. like. We can outfit anyone yep. from very small to very large, yes. male, female. Yeah. And no one cares. Well, it's, it's an absolute credit uh, to all you ladies what you've created down here. And they didn't get in. Didn't. <laughs> we didn't get in. It was very cold, wasn't it? Yeah. Just letting you know, it's eight degrees in the water and eight degrees outside the water. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think the sense of community, the health benefits, it, it's yeah. you know, it's just win-win on it, on every angle you look at it. So yeah. Yeah. thanks so much for joining us at, uh, on Ballerine Life. And uh, we will get in, Lee, when the, when that sun comes out. The challenge the, is the there. December. The challenge. Yeah. 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 Yeah.